How could an earthquake make an inland city sink underwater? Dora and Stephen needed an earthquake expert. The man they turned to was Ian Stewart. Stewart has spent 15 years studying evidence of earthquakes in the region. He thinks it all comes down to one slab of rock. This is a Heliki fault. We think this is the fault surface was probably responsible for the earthquake that destroyed the Heliki. We know from an earthquake in 1861 that this fault has one peculiar quality. It makes the ground sink. For if you could take a cross section, Beneath it, you would see a giant sloping crack in the Earth's crust. This is constantly being pulled apart under immense pressure, which builds up until the crust finally breaks. This releases the massive force of an earthquake, which pushes the mountains up and wrenches the plain down. In 1861, the entire plane was dragged over a metre downwards. What happens is when the earthquake ruptures up to the surface, when it gets to the surface, the whole of the plane that's in front of the fault just drops by a metre and a half. The other area behind the fault, the actual fault itself, rises up. You can get some idea of the power that's involved in this when you look at some of these uh, scratches. Now, these are scratches that are made in solid rock. Pebbles have been sticking out, have been carved their way down as this has moved. And so what is happening here is we're getting a, an ancient earthquake just etched into the rock face. 